End emotional eating, forming a mindful relationship with food. Feeling guilty about the pint of ice cream you just polished off after a rough day? Beating yourself up after inhaling an entire bag of chips while feeling bored or stressed? If this emotional eating repent-repeat cycle sounds all too familiar, this video is for you. I'm going to share a radically different approach to breaking free from food fixation, one that has nothing to do with willpower or deprivation. You're going to learn groundbreaking mindful practices that will transform your relationship with eating from constantly feeling out of control to peaceful, intuitive experiences. Step number one, observe your patterns. The first step of ending emotional eating is to become an observer of your own habits and patterns around food. Start noticing when you're eating out of true physical hunger versus emotional reasons like stress, boredom, anger, or loneliness. Get curious about your triggers without judgment. And pay attention to how you feel before, during, and after an emotional eating episode. This self-awareness is crucial. Step number two, name the need. Once you've identified that you're about to eat for emotional versus physical reasons, pause and get specific about naming that need. Are you feeling stressed and wanting to numb out? Bored and seeking comfort? How about angry and wanting to punish yourself? Or lonely and trying to fill a void? Being able to clearly label these emotions at their root cause is a powerful for managing it in new ways. Step three, baby yourself. After recognizing the need driving your emotional cravings, the next step is to find a way to nurture and baby yourself through it that doesn't involve food. If you're stressed, take a bath, go for a walk, do some deep breathing. Bored? Pick up a hobby, call a friend, maybe read a book. Angry? Do some intense exercise, journaling, or punch a boxing bag. Lonely? Cuddle a pet, join an online group, or plan a social activity. Get creative about finding an alternative of soothing outlets. Step number four, mindful eating. When you do feel legitimately physically hungry, practice the art of mindful eating. This means engaging all your senses as you eat. What does the food look like, smell like, taste like? Notice flavors, textures, and your body's hunger and fullness cues. Don't watch TV or otherwise distractedly eat. Simply be present with the experience of nurturing yourself. Put your utensils down between bites and savor each delicious moment. This helps rewire your brain's relationship with food. Step 5. Mantra and Meditation in the heat of an emotional eating urge, it's powerful to have a simple mantra to come back to, like inhale peace, exhale craving. Do some breathing work. Place one hand on your chest and one on your belly. Feel your body rise and fall with each cycle. Visualize the craving as a wave that crests when they subside. Ride it out. You can even do quick body scan meditations bringing gentle curiosity to where you're holding tension. There you have it, a toolkit for ending emotional eating by forming a mindful relationship with food. It's all about increasing awareness, identifying your true needs, finding alternative outlets, staying present, and soothing yourself with compassion instead of consumption. This approach helps break the binge repent cycle and resets your mind for intuitive eating. Be patient. It definitely takes practice. By putting in the effort leads to profound shifts in how you experience cravings and nurturing yourself. You've got this.